hello, and welcome to another episode of Tasty Tuesday. I am your host, LaDonda Gaskins, Ruby Consultant out of the Philadelphia Market. And I don't know about you guys, but we have bad rain down here. Um, so if you have bad rain, like, let us know where you're coming, calling from and where that rain is coming. And what do you have in your cup this Tasty Tuesday? Um, now, I'm not sure about you guys, but I know for me, when it's bad weather, it's rainy weather, I get the munchies, right? And I want something like real bad in the junk where you're supposed to be doing the right thing, right? So what do you do? You reach into your freezer and pull out a pie. You're like, ah, I'm gonna put that in there and, and eat that because it's that comfort food, right? For the rainy weather. So today I'm gonna show you a simple, simple comfort food and one of my go-tos when I wanna eat something that's like not healthy or I'm gonna say not healthy, but something sweet and delicious. I like to go for a sweet potato pie. I love sweet potato pie, all right? So today I'm gonna to show you another healthier way that we can make our OG shake healthier, but also get rid of that craving that we have for that sweet, that pie, that your cookies, whatever it is. And you can also substitute that for your favorite cookies. If you like snickerdoodles or chocolate chips or something like that, find that substitution. But today we're actually gonna do the sweet potato pie shake. OGH thing. Um, and you know, like sweet potatoes are really, really great when it comes to protein. It's a good carb. Um, it's great for a side dish if you have salmon or chicken. You just have one of these, these sweet potatoes, a small one, you don't need a big one. And you, it's easy to do it in the microwave, guys. I don't know if you guys know that you can cook these right in the microwave. Um, wrap it in um, little bit of it depends on the size. Uh, the one I did this morning was only like three minutes, okay, and it was done. So it depends on your size, something small, something like this right here. Um, you want to cook maybe like three to four minutes. But once it's, it's done, just kind of like touch and see if it's done the softness, the consistency that you like um, if, for that potato to be done. So, and then you basically would eat it the way you want to. But I love the sweet potato. It's a great source of your, your, your proteins. Um, that the carb that you can have for that side dish. So um, that's what I have. So we have a potato about this size here, um, about this size, and I only use half of it, so I don't need a lot of it in the shape. So we actually have um, that right there all ready to go for our shape here. And you know, we have wonderful products, and you wanna actually make this like you're making a sweet potato pie. So with your spices, that you put in there. Um, the spices are, are, does, won't add to your calories. You wanna have your uh, spices so you can make it, take, it taste good. Because uh, if your shake doesn't taste good, it's not gonna help with that craving that you have for that sweet tooth. You wanna have it when you when you have it in your mouth and it's like, okay, this is really taking care of that pie that I really have one to have besides um, having that shake. So you're gonna have that shake, that dessert. You're gonna have that in place of your sweet potato pie. And remember, you want to have good, healthy um, carbs, and you're going to have some protein that's going to be the extra protein that's going to be in there. Um, so other than that, we know we have wonderful, wonderful uh, beverages with our Tasty Tuesday that we're not doing. So today is basically going to be about that OG shake. So we have, of course, you know, you can have your vanilla shakes that's on the go. So we can put that right there with you. So it said, if you decide, you know what, I want to shake on my vacation. You put that in a bottle, you can shake it up, make sure some ice because that ice is gonna shake, break up those lumps in your shake pack. So something cold, make sure you have ice with it because you can do it with the water, which is delicious with the water in your ice. You shake it up really good. The ice, make, remember, it's going to help you to have that smooth consistency that you're gonna like in your shake. Or you can have almond milk or whatever the beverage of your choice is. Also another good thing too is having orange juice. Have you had that orange sickle? That is delicious. Mix your vanilla with um, eight ounces of orange juice. Oh my goodness, it's like brings me back to my childhood when I used to have orange sickles. So, and that's something simple that you can do with your vanilla and orange juice. And put some ice in it, because again, that, that friction of, of you mixing it is gonna break down that vanilla, um, the vanilla shape that you're gonna have in your, your cup. So remember that the orange sickles are another good little side thing. Um, also, with this right here, you can make sweet potato pancakes. 
And maybe one day later on, I'll show you how to do that. But basically the same thing, have some, a um, little bit of flour in there or almond flour, which is really, really great. That's gonna keep that consistency down and it's gonna be gluten. That's gonna be great for you. And, and you're gonna basically mix up the same way with your flour um, and every, everything I'm showing you here, except for the one that's what we're gonna show you about how to get that crust, okay? But you're gonna make that in a, in a pancake and um, that really is great with the sweet potatoes. And I like the fresh uh, sweet potatoes better than canned. You don't want to have to have do too much of the canned sweet potatoes because then you have all the preservatives, the juices, it's too sweet. You don't want to have that extra stuff. You want to have it as natural as you can make that sweet potato pancake. So a nice fresh baked sweet potato in your pancakes plus nice fresh um, sweet potatoes in your shake. So let's get started. I'm trying to get all that stuff out of the way because this blender, I love it because especially when it breaks down the pulp in your straw and your sweet potatoes, it's a really great blender, but on a regular for this taping, it is so loud. <laughs> so I want to make sure we get all that stuff out so you can hear what it is. So what we're going to be adding today, we're going to have some cinnamon, some nutmeg, so you know that these things go into the pie, right? You have your vanilla. We're going to have our OG scoop of the nice level scoop of OGX vanilla uh, shake. We have our almond milk. It's going to blend it up really nice and make it smooth. Our sweet potato here and some ice to make it nice and cold and that smooth um, consistency. So you say, well, what are you doing about the crust? Well, we do oats, raw oats, okay? Another great source of your good fibers um, in there. So we have the raw oats in there and that gives you that consistency of that pie crust. So another little healthy trip there with your raw oats in there. So that's gonna make up your pie. Once you make that all up, you're gonna mix it all up and it's really, really delicious. Of course, your OGX shake is going to take the place of that sugar that you would put in there if you were making pie or even those, um, those box pies. That's going to take care of that sugar um, that's going to help you get past those cravings that you have um, for other sweets and pies and things like that. So once you put it all together, um, it's the right consistency of sugar and sweetness that you're, going to, that you're going to need to get you through everything else. So let's put that, start putting that together. Okay. All right, first we're going to put some ice in there. Okay, we're going to put the ice in there first. Make sure you have enough of that. Okay, then we're going to put that the almond milk in there. All right. Now, we're going to put in the sweet potatoes. Because you want to kind of have that at the bottom so that way it's down there and it's going to be mixed up nicely and it's going to help also with that the pulps and the strings in there um if you don't take the time to take that out of there okay make sure you get all that remember it's, it's a half of a small potato this right here okay so we only need half of it in there but if you want the whole thing you can have the whole thing in there but i don't use half because i don't want to overpower my shape okay now I'm gonna put our wonderful um, spices in there. So we have our cinnamon. Put all that cinnamon in there. Our nutmeg. Okay. And the nutmeg, we're looking at maybe like a, um, a teaspoon, but the nutmeg, I only use a half a teaspoon. I don't want the nutmeg to overpower the, the whole pie effect, okay? And then we have our vanilla. That's uh, the extra um, vanilla, your 100% vanilla. They're going to add to that right there with our vanilla OGX. Okay. And those oats. And that's about a, a fourth cup of oats. Okay. So for those who are writing down that recipe, um, a fourth a cup of oats there. One scoop. We have uh, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of the, the nutmeg. We have a teaspoon of the vanilla. 
we have our uh, six uh, I put six ounces of the of the almond milk, and that's unsweetened because we don't want too much sweetness in there. Um, I know that somebody like I don't like the unsweetened, but once you have with the vanilla and the sweet potatoes and the cinnamon, it's perfect. You can't even tell or miss that that um, other vanilla flavoring. So I think it's like 30 30 um, percent and versus 80 of the sweetness of the vanilla. We want the unsweetened. Okay, and then we have our ice in there. So we're going to put that top on there and mix that all up. Okay, so I feel like it's going to be loud, right, guys? So I'm hoping to talk all of that and maybe I should do it manually so that way I can kind of like keep an uh, eye on it myself. <laughs> enough that's and that's right there is actually a 16 ounce cup and it's only a little bit more because what happens is that sweet potato takes up the consistency and makes it nice and thick right that is delicious that's delicious Put that straw in there too right mm. this right here then makes one side drink the probably half of it. That sweetness that I had for that pie that I really wanted to put in that oven, it's gone. It really is gone. Because everything that I wanted to have, and if you if you don't like cold, cold pie, like I don't mind having a nice slice of cold pie. I do like it hot too. It's some ice cream inside, but this takes care of both of those. It's like you're having your ice cream and your pie all in one cup. And it's great for breakfast because you have your oats in here. So it's like having like a breakfast smoothie, plus you're having your, your smoothie with everything. So it can be either breakfast or it can be dessert is your choice. But I would like, love to just right here. Um, usually if I do like the salmon, which I, one day, it's not that I, I have in mind, but um, that, that black coffee rub for your salmon. So you have your salmon on your side, after you eat the main course, you can make that your dessert. So you have your sweet potato pie dessert here. So I really hope that you guys love this dessert right here and try it and make it your own. If you want to do maybe an apple pie, I'll use right here. You don't have those blunders on, on live, right? Um, if you like to do it with the apple pie, you just switch out your sweet potato and you put in apples. Pour your apple and you put that into your blender. So you can do this recipe either for your sweet potato if you don't like sweet potato, you do it for your apple pie. Just place your apples with the sweet potatoes or vice versa, um, or either peach. So anything which you take the says adds for a crust, you can replace this pie here, this smoothie, with that right there, that consistency. So with that, guys, I hope you guys have a great, great day um, in this rainy, rainy weather. And make sure that you make your favorite desserts, make it healthier, and enjoy your your um, your shakes. And also, if you would like all these wonderful things here at a discount, we most definitely have a special where you can sign up for forty nine ninety five, and you can get all your shakes, all your coffees, all your teas, and and our, even our new verticals that we just added them in there for a wonderful price of forty nine. 95. Yes, you can have that. And that's a one-time membership, and that will allow you to have everything that you want at a wholesale price. So make sure you get back to the distributor who shared this video with you, um, and let them know that you want to sign up, and 
add to the balance of the recipes because we have a lot of recipes um, in our arsenal that we most definitely can share with you. And just make sure that you keep tuning in on Tasty Tuesdays because there will be some wonderful distributor up there showing you their recipes ideals, telling you about the wonderful products, telling you how you can get these products for a wonderful price and any specials or that we're running, they'll let you know about that also. So with that guys, um, this is another for powerful Tasty Tuesday. Try that recipe out and if you guys like it, post it. Let me know how you guys like it, but most definitely is my go-to when it's a nice rainy day as it is today and when I'm craving something sweet to help me still stay on track and keep me focused. So with that guys, have an amazing, amazing day and it is simple, it's easy, it's healthy, it's organic. Have a great day.